Forty years ago, Jane and I hit the road to discover America's food highways. Over a hundred thousand meals later, we're still finding delicious food, adventure, natural beauty, and interesting people. The northern part of Michigan is known to Michiganders and Midwestern vacationers as up north. It's a natural wonderland, surrounded by Great Lakes coastline, covered with forests and farms, and dotted with convivial taverns, town cafes, and remote restaurants with ambitious chefs. By car, carriage, canoe, or bicycle, however you travel, it's a dreamy place to be. So the Cherry Hut is just iconic to our community. It's what you want your little American village to feel like. It's welcoming. There are people that put blood, sweat, and tears into what they do, and it's their art and their gift to their neighbors and the community. It's beautiful. And it's delicious, especially the house signature cherry pie, a la mode, please. Abundant orchards in this area make Traverse City the largest producer of tart cherries in the country. As cities go, it's a charming place with some very unusual restaurants. In 1990, I changed the name to Cousin Jenny's, which is part of the history of the pasty. The Cornish women were called Cousin Jenny's, the Cornish men were called Cousin Jack's. And the Cornish women made the pasties, designed them so the miners could take them down into the mines. They were love letters from home and they were a meal within themselves. We have a beautiful British theme. We make everything fresh every day. We have a variety of food, but our main item are the Cornish pasties. We have seven varieties, including an all vegetable. We also have a breakfast pasty that we created. Pasties are pronounced pasty, like past day meal. The presence of Lake Michigan defines so much of this region. Its stately sand dunes stretching out to the horizon and beyond. Care to travel back in time? Don's Drive-In is a good place to do it. A salute to car culture happy days. The menu is classic. Half-pound monster burgers and fries, foot-long hot dogs, and soda fountain delights that include fresh fruit milkshakes. We are at the village at Grand Traverse Commons. It was formerly the Northern Michigan Asylum and then the Traverse City State Hospital. It was a state-run psychiatric facility from 1885 to 1989. We have a great variety of shops. They're eclectic and unique shops anywhere from a jewelry store to handmade soaps and oils. There's also a used bookstore. He has a large collection. We also have our own little village gift shop here as well. We offer guided historic tours here to help preserve some of the history that comes from this place. What a lot of people don't know is that there is a tunnel system underneath the property that helped to provide heat to all of the patients' rooms. And they're kind of a spider system throughout the property. This place is unique because it is the largest redevelopment of its kind in the United States. They're tearing these down around the country. There's not very many left. Traverse City is such a friendly place for a walk or a leisurely drive or for a cold beer and a meal in a family tavern. Sledders is great. They have awesome food. I try something new every time I come and the atmosphere is really fun. The eclectic menu includes ribs, wings, and chowder, all great bar food, best eaten with a good supply of napkins and maybe another round of beer. Let's head north. That will take us through the heart of apple orchard country. I'm Heidi Frisky. My parents are the second generation owners of Frisky Orchards and Farm Market. My grandparents came over from Germany in 1962. Me and my brothers were raised at our farm. We do grow lots of other things. We grow asparagus, we grow strawberries, raspberries, sweet and tart cherries, peaches, pears. But apples are by far our biggest crop. People love to come to Northern Michigan. You know, there's, there's so many reasons. It's just such a beautiful area. It's surrounded by water. We're two miles from Lake Michigan. So beautiful up here. The climate's perfect for fruit growing. I have so many wonderful memories of growing up on the farm. Lots of hard work, but lots of fun, kind of living the old-fashioned good life. 
At the northernmost part of Lower Michigan are the Straits of Mackinac. Here is Mackinac Island, another world altogether. Mackinac Island State Park was actually Mackinac National Park, so it was America's second national park after Yellowstone. The speed limit is 25 miles an hour. That's mostly for bikes. Going down some of our hills, you can get upwards of like 55, 60 miles an hour without your brakes. Everything happens here slower, so you really don't need to go that fast. Everything is unique about the island. I think it's unique that everybody in this restaurant came here on a bicycle today or walked or maybe took a horse. Or Oh, I'm in here weekly. <laughs> I mean, Chuck Wagon Wednesdays is what, what we pretty much celebrate around here. This restaurant, it's kind of like the hub for Mackinac Island. I mean, this is where all the locals are eating. What do the locals eat at the Chuck Wagon? They eat well. Hearty plates of Heartland home cooking, breakfast and lunch for the last 60 years. Hit the fudge shops, it's tradition. Take yourself a tour but also make sure that you go to the back end of the island. Ride your bike around, go see British Landing, catch a sunset out there, you're gonna, you're gonna remember it for the rest of your life. Ottawa Indian legend says that the sun set through this amazing arch. Mission Point was built in the 50s. We have 241 rooms here. What's very unique about it is the entryway in the lobby. You'll see that it's all made of log. We have nine large beams in the middle of the lobby. It looks like a teepee almost. Food is, is important, it's a celebration, and we like to do that here at Mission Point. My name is Matthew Nelson, I'm the executive chef here at Mission Point, overseeing three restaurants. Chianti is Northern Italian inspired. We have the seared duck breast, uh, comfy potatoes, carrot puree, truffle shavings. Then we have our beef lasagna, hand rolled pasta, our signature marinara sauce. We have our seared Lake Spear whitefish entree, and our new addition, the pumpkin gnocchi. We have brown butter sauce, crispy sage, topped with some fresh herbs. There are five restaurants at Mission Point, including the Reserve Wine Bar with its glorious view overlooking a great lawn and the lake shore. Dating back to the late 18th century and the time of the Revolutionary War, Fort Mackinac is an immersive experience that brings visitors into a world of black powder cannons and muskets. Ready, fire! Here visitors are surrounded by a style of living that was simple and without frill. A tour through the fort and its living quarters really does take you back to life as it was in the 1780s. Fort Mackinac was constructed in 1779, 1780, 1781. Today, the stone walls that surround the fort and the officer's stone quarters are two of the oldest structures in Michigan. On to the Upper Peninsula, every hungry traveler needs to know about Gustafson's. It's a ramshackle roadside market with all sorts of snacks and savories, but the main attraction is smoked fish. Whitefish, trout, menominee, chub, and salmon. They come wrapped in butcher's paper, ready for a picnic. Outdoors, that's what Northern Michigan is all about. The beauty of nature and the old ways of life, fresh food from lakes and farms and orchards, and scenery that stirs the soul. 